Welcome to the video on Training Management System. Training Management System, TMS, is a custom web-based application built on Microsoft SharePoint. This system maps the training requirements of every employee using the approved training matrices and registers training requests coming from employees and line managers. It also supports coordinators to schedule training and certification for the workforce. This application reduces time, resources, and costs associated with managing the training by helping the team to automate the notifications, keeping track of the current requests, and generating reports quickly and easily. There are five different categories of the training courses in the TMS. One, internal. These are all the company internal courses. Two, external. These are training delivered by an external provider. Three, MST, minimum safety training. Four, e-learning. These include online training, which employee completes within TMS system. And five, Knowledge Cafe. These are company-specific courses. This is the login page to sign in to the TMS. One, if you are an AD login user, click Sign In button under AD User tab. Two, if you are a back-to-back -back or if you do not have an AD login, then click the back-to-back -back user tab. Enter your username, which is your employee number. Now enter your password and click Sign In button. You can change the password any time within the system. If you do not know or you forgot your password, contact the training team. Once you successfully log into the TMS system, you will see the Employee KPI Dashboard page. On the left-hand side of the screen is the Quick Navigation menu. The menu items listed here may vary based on your permission level or role in the system. My Dashboard The Employee KPI Dashboard homepage includes My Training Compliance, Emergency Response Compliance, and other KPIs. You can also click the tile boxes to get more information. Data Dashboard. Click the Go to Data Dashboard button to see all your data, such as requested training, completed training, certifications, evaluations, and so on. From the Quick Navigation menu, expand the Training Matrix menu and select View Training Matrix submenu. This section displays all the courses mapped against your job role, along with the status of the training course and the certification expiry date. The status of the training course is color-coded with green being training completed, amber being train in progress, certification expiring within three months, and red being training not started, certification expired. Also, the rows are highlighted for mandatory and the optional courses. You can also view the emergency training matrix from the View Emergency Matrix submenu. There are three ways you can request a training. From the training matrix, you can request the courses mapped for your job role. If you have not taken the course or certification is expired, you will notice an icon right next to that course name to request for the training. Click this blue icon to request for that course. This will take you to the training request page where all the details will be pre-filled except the training date. Select any existing training date or select date to be announced date TBA option if there are no dates available. Next, enter the comment, if any, in the comment field and click Submit. First, from the Quick Navigation menu, open the Training Course Calendar. This displays all the sessions which are already scheduled in the system. 
You can also navigate to different month or year from the small navigation calendar on the top left of the page. To open the session details, click the name of the course. To request for the session, click the Request for this training button. This will take you to the training request page with all the details pre-filled. Click Submit to proceed. From the Quick Navigation menu, click the Request for Training tab. Select a course you're looking for. If the course you are looking for is not present in the drop-down, then click the link and fill in all the details yourself and click Submit. If the course you are looking for is present in the drop-down, select the desired course. Select any existing training date or if there is no date, select Date to be announced. Enter any optional comments and click Submit. Once the training is requested by you or by your manager or by the department coordinator on behalf of you, it goes through the approval loop. After the training request is approved and training is successfully completed, a feedback form is sent to you via email. You can also check the feedback form on the system. To do so, click the Go to Data Dashboard button and select Evaluations tab. Open any pending form and submit the feedback. Moving ahead to the e-learning courses. E-learning courses are the online training courses which you can complete within the TMS system. Open e-learning home link from the quick navigation menu. It will display all the e-learning courses available in the system, the course that you have completed, and even the courses which are in progress. Click the course you are interested in taking up. Tick this box if you have taken the course offline. Enter the details and submit, which marks the training as complete. If not, Proceed to the online course. Click Start the Training button. You can browse through all the sections and chapters on the left side. Once you are done, click the Completion menu and click the Click Here to complete the questionnaire and or complete the training button. This will open the questionnaire to be submitted. Answer all the questions and submit. Upon submission, it will display the results. If you score below 80%, you need to retake the course. This is all about TMS system. We trust this video was informative. Thank you for your active participation.